Hi guys, um, this is this very cool shell installator, um, smart physics problem, and let's do real, this real quick. <coughs> so, in this question, we have an insulator that has a charge, and it's um, there's nothing inside it, and they're asking about the electric field at point P. Okay. All right, so. We're, we're going to use the gas law, which is um, the flux is equal to the integral of E dot dA equal to the, the Q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Okay. All right, so our Gaussian surf surface will be this here, right? because the electric field is always the same around um, this sphere, the Gaussian surface, okay? So E is constant, and the dot will go away because it's gonna be always perpendicular to the, um, to the surface. No, perpendicular, actually, it's like the same direction of it. So the cosine of theta will be zero, and then the dA, the integral of dA for this Gaussian surface will be just the, um, the surface of the sphere and that has a radius of p, okay? And then the surface of the sphere at point p, that ha I mean, that has a radius p is um, 4 pi p squared, right? All right, so q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Now, the Q enclosed won't be the whole Q here, and since it's an insulator, the charge is um, uniformly distributed. Well, in the question they stated that, it might not be like uniformly distributed, but anyway. Um, so yeah, let's find the Q enclosed now. So the um, Q enclosed, so the way I do it is, is that I put the like the charge and then I put the um, the volume that it's in it. So now, what is the volume that the Q enclosed is in? It's in between the um, P, the volume P and A, right? Is it just from here to here? That's what we're looking for. Okay. So let's do this. So the um, the volume of from here to here, it will be 4 over 3 pi, and then the p cubed, this should be p, not p, p cubed minus a cubed, cool, and then for the q total, will be equal to um, 4 over 3 pi, and then the q total is between the b and the a, right, so it's between um, b cubed minus a cubed okay so now we want the q enclosed so we're just multiplying this times this divided by this so the q enclosed will be equal to um, and then when we divide this by this we'll get rid of those so it'll be q total and then the p cubed minus a cubed cool divided by B cubed minus A cubed. All right, so now we got the um, Q enclosed. So now let's put up the whole thing now. So E will be equal to, so now we can divide this by this. So and then the Q enclosed was the Q total, P cubed minus A cubed, divided by B cubed minus A cubed. All right, and then will be divided by, when you divide this, it will be 4 pi, and don't forget the epsilon, not p, p squared, okay? So that's the equation you can use to find the electric field at point P inside an insulator. Cool. <coughs> Alright guys, I hope this helped. Damn, I messed up. Wait. Yeah, this guy. Alright, cool. Uh, take care, guys.